hello everyone this video is regarding the reversal chart patterns so in this video we are only going to talk about what are reversal patterns which one of these are they and we will exclude one or two reversal patterns which we will be covering in the later videos so in this video specifically we are going to cover head and shoulders number one number two double top and double bottom number three triple bottom and triple top number four round top and round bottom right so let's just start the number one head and shoulder pattern i'll show you just in this white board what are head and shoulder patterns and how can we use them so here you can see that it's a head and shoulder pattern is something like this there's a shoulder a head which is slightly higher than a shoulder and then another shoulder right so you have a pattern like this it is called head and shoulder pattern this line right here this line right here is known as the neckline i'm going to mark it with a black line right so this line right here is known as the neckline and classically this is a reversal pattern now what are reversal patterns reversal patterns they are formed at the end of a trend right so if i talk about a trend i'll i'll just show you an example right so say if this was an uptrend right this just went up till here made a pattern like this and then it break down again right so you can see that this right here was your uptrend this was your reversal pattern here and then the trend changed and it went into a downtrend right so similarly there will be another pattern here say some xyz pattern like this this will be a reversal pattern and then the trend will change again right so the pattern which occur at the end of a trend these are known as the reversal patterns so now head and shoulder patterns let's find some of the head and shoulder patterns in the chart and see how they work right i have taken the chart of india bull housing finance and i am taking this 4 hour chart let's just make it 15 minute chart so that we can find as much as possible head and shoulder patterns right so i think here is an evident head and shoulder pattern it's a tough one but you can see that this is a pretty over extended pattern here this is a shoulder here this is a head this is a shoulder right uh, neckline is pretty off to determine but you can see that this was your uptrend trend changed after that and it went into a downtrend let's just ignore it for a second it's a bit complicated pattern right here i'll just try to show you some other patterns uh, some other head and shoulder examples in this video alone the this is a 15 minute chart by the way and uh, i see an inverse head and shoulder pattern right uh, what is an inverse head and shoulder pattern a head and shoulder pattern is formed at the top of a trend something like this while an inverse head and shoulder pattern forms at the bottom of a trend something like this and it signs as a as a reversal so i can see something like an inverse head and shoulder pattern here which you can see if i draw a line i'll just take it right so if you can see it or not this is a shoulder this is a head this is a shoulder and see this was your downtrend it formed a pattern and boom the trend changed 
right so this right here was your head and shoulder pattern now some people might be asking that uh, these patterns are pretty difficult to catch no they are not it's just that once you have the right amount of practice you will be able to see them with time right so let's just try to find out some more in the past i would say this is an inverse head and shoulder pattern but it's a bit distorted you can see that there is a clear shoulder and a head but there is no evident right shoulder but there is a neckline here which you will see as a shoulder right so here is another head and shoulder for you this is not an head and shoulder pattern because the shoulder never came to retest the neckline here hence this is not a head and shoulder pattern if we go on to take some further more examples okay here you can see a clear head and shoulder pattern if i zoom it out for you you can see if i draw this neck line here's a shoulder here's a head here's another shoulder and then boom the next day it went down right although it went up back again but uh, it would have been a good trade if you shot this shoulder here right now also people ask what is the right way to trade a reversal pattern right so most of the reversal patterns they have a neckline usually so say if i'm seeing a pattern forming like this right it's right here and i know that it has a good chance that it can be a head and shoulder pattern right because i'm seeing there is a shoulder there is a head and there is a potential shoulder which might or might not form so what i can do here is i can short right here and wait for it to fall down that is approach number 1 now this is a risky approach why because you do not know that if the shoulder is going to form or not you are just speculating that it may form with a probability of 70 to 75 percentage now what is the safer way to trade the safer way to trade the head and shoulder pattern or any reversal pattern is you wait for a retest of the neckline if you extend the neckline long enough you can see that the price action usually comes back to retest the neckline and once it retests the neckline here is your opportunity to short it and then you can take a massive amount of profits right so if i extend this neckline right here uh, it may not be the most precise lines i'll just draw a precise line right if you see that this broke down here right there is a shoulder there is your head another shoulder breakdown boom retest and once it retested right this is your opportunity to short and once you shorted this at 562 you can see that it drove all the way down to 440 in like next four or five trading sessions right so head and shoulder patterns are an amazing way to trade now uh, let's just check another head and shoulder pattern if we can find or not
okay i'm not seeing many head and shoulder patterns here also people may ask that what is the best time frame to use them on and again there's a like pretty generic answer there is no best time to use it on if even if i uh, open it on one minute time frame you can see plenty of head and shoulder patterns you can see it on 15 minute you can see it on 1 hour you can see it on 4 hours you can see it on any time frame so even if i uh, say one minute time frame i can show you that these patterns do exist on one minute time frames as well there's a simple pattern here you can see uh neckline i think this neckline would have been a bit correct here's a shoulder here's a head here's another shoulder went up retested retested here and then you can see the trend reversed so if you are a day trader you want to close your trade within 1 hour or 2 hour this was a simple way you you could have uh, long that 300 and taken profits at 300 which is a good 3% trade for intraday right uh, similarly you can see more patterns i can show you now the key to finding these pattern is just simple one thing that is the practice nothing else so i think you should be doing plenty and plenty of practice to find the head and shoulder patterns and the inverse head and shoulder patterns right i'll just keep this video to this and i'll make a part 2 of this video and do it in continuation so that one video do not get long enough for you to see right i'll just continue the video with the same name part 2 and uh, we'll discuss the rest of the patterns double bottom double tops and triple bottom triple tops right so i'll see you in the next video